Hello friends, I'm Melanie from MelanieCooks.com and today I'll be making pan fried cabbage and beans. This is um, a great cheap dinner. Uh, it's actually a complete to be a meal. Um, a great vegetarian main dish or you can also eat it uh, even if you're not vegetarian, it's awesome. So we just uh, need uh, some fresh cabbage and uh, a can of uh, beans. I'm using black beans, but you can use any kind of beans. Seasonings of your choice. So just keep it simple and use uh, salt, black pepper, and garlic powder. And you can use any seasonings you like. And you also need some oil for pan frying. I'll use olive oil. You can also use avocado oil, uh, coconut oil, or any kind of oil you like. Uh, so first I need to uh, slice the cabbage. So um, you can, um, I don't know if I'll use the whole cabbage or half of it. You just need as much as fits in that pan. So let's just see how uh, much cabbage it yields. And um, meanwhile, I'm going to add some oil to the pan. Uh, so it's a nonstick pan. You don't really need too much oil just for flavor, but use as much or as little as you like. Totally up to you. It's uh, for flavor, it makes it tastier. So I'm going to turn the heat on high for now and start slicing the cabbage. So I wash the cabbage and remove the outer leaves before making this video. So the cabbage is clean and ready to be sliced. So as I cut it, I can just add it to the pan right away and keep slicing it until, you know, I feel like it doesn't fit anymore. So just um, keep slicing. So I actually was able to fit the whole cabbage. So all that's left is the core. So it totally depends on how big is the cabbage and how big is your frying pan. And it looks like it's too much here, but it shrinks as it cooks. So don't worry. You will see how um, it's probably going to be half of it at the end. Um, so now the pan is fully heated. You can actually hear it sizzling. So I'm going to reduce heat to medium because I don't want anything to get burned. And you have to keep a close eye on this every time you're cooking in a frying pan. If things start burning, you can always reduce the heat. Um, and I can try to kind of... Uh, do this. It's hard because there's so much cabbage, but as it cooks, it will shrink and it's going to be easy. Um, so I will come back after it cooks for a few minutes. And meanwhile, I just wanted to let you know about my new cooking community, everydaycookingclub.com. It's totally free to join. So if you like simple cooking like this and want to communicate with other everyday home cooks uh, please go to everydaycookingclub.com you will love it and i'll be back in a few minutes to check on the cabbage so now the cabbage has been cooking for five minutes and i've been mixing it every minute and i actually did increase the heat to medium high because i realized it was very cooking so you should really watch it and uh, increase the heat to your liking so you'll want the cabbage to burn but you also want it to be cooking um so just play it by ear in a medium or medium high so see now it's like becomes a little more manageable to mix because it starts shrinking in volume as well So continue cooking until it's uh, browned and tender enough to your liking um, and I'll be back. So now this cabbage has been cooking for um, 15 minutes so it's already getting browned and it's tender so you just taste it and see how tender you like it because some people like it super tender and some people like it more crispy so totally up to you how long you want to cook it but now we're going to also add the beans so um, I already drained them, so just add drained beans and they're already cooked, so all you need to do is heat them. So mix it with the beans. Okay. 
And now let's add the seasoning. So I'm going to add some salt, black pepper, and garlic powder. And you can use any other seasonings you like and just add them to taste. So just try it. And if you think you need some more salt, just add some more. So you can be really creative here. Look, it's looking great. So the cabbage is nicely browned. And just like I promised, see now it's you know, not as much and it's easy to mix. So it was a good move to chop the whole cabbage because this way I'll have a big quantity. If you don't eat it all at once, you can just refrigerate it and eat it later. And this dinner is super cheap. This whole cabbage was like $2 and a can of beans ranges from $1 to $2. So this whole big portion of food is basically under four dollars so it doesn't get better than that and tastes amazing and it's super healthy too so just heat it for a few minutes to make sure the beans are heated and um this delicious dinner will be ready so it's been a couple of minutes and the beans are evenly heated so this whole thing from start to finish took um about 20 minutes so it was 15 minutes for the cabbage to cook and then um, a total of five minutes of adding the seasonings and beans and it's done. So I'm going to turn off the heat and just always cook the cabbage until it's tender enough to your liking. And now let's try it. So I'll just take some off a plate. So as you see, it makes a huge portion. So I'm gonna just take off the heat. And let's try it. I'm so excited about trying it. I love fried cabbage with beans. Mm. It's so delicious. This cabbage is so tender and full of flavor. Perfectly seasoned and goes so well with black beans. You will love it. And it's very healthy too. For a free printable recipe, and other easy recipes, please visit my website, melaniecooks.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Melanie Cooks. And please visit my new free cooking community, everydaycookingclub.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy!